This invitation to a feast is an extraordinary picture of God's future. Thirst quenching waters, flowing wine, sweet milk, and rich food are all free, offered without price, without cost. We can almost imagine God here as a vendor crying out in the market about this rich fare being sold, but without a price. This is certainly a different type of transaction, signaling an alternative economy, one characterized by pure grace, joy, and life. This eschatological vision of God's future makes present hoping possible. Scholars say these prophecies were addressed to an Israelite in Babylonian captivity, in exile during the 6th century BCE, and under the ominous threat of Persian rule with the rise of King Cyrus. It was a time of uncertainty, filled with economic and social oppression, and the future looked as bleak as the present. Israel was being conquered by other prosperous nations who worshipped all kinds of gods, followed different laws, lived by different ethics, and all the Israelites could probably see was struggle. They struggled to feed their families and pay onerous taxes and to follow the laws of Moses in the face of foreigners who mock them. Against this struggle to still believe that God was the gracious sovereign of the world, the prophet Isaiah imagines a free feast of, fo- of rich food and wine for everyone. We long for the opportunity to buy without money and without cost. This vision of God's future is, a, is all a gift. In her version of He's Got the Whole World in His Hands, Mahaya Jackson adds a poignant verse. She sings, If religion was a thing money could buy, the whole wide world in his hand, the rich would live and the poor would die, the whole wide world in his hand. We can't buy the promise of God. We can be grateful for the grace of God that allows us to freely partake and share with others in the abundant life of God's alternative economy. Hope is rooted in reality, in what is, not in avoidance. Real hope provides the courage to face whatever chaos and trauma life throws at us. Hope does not try to avoid pain of finite existence, nor is it naive about suffering. Hope also, however, not only faces reality, hope imagines possibilities. Hope dreams dreams, is adaptable, and is not afraid to risk. When we are willing to cast ourselves deep into the dependable faithfulness of God, we will discover the buoyancy of hope.